look at the garden today. Ah, so beautiful. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here's my little tipper dude. The chaos too. down here. Let's check out our peppers. Look at this. Look at these beauties. Oh my goodness, those beautiful green bell peppers. Amazing. Amazing. And then here, that's our little banana pepper. Awesome as that is. This here, these here are Tabascos. And look at this jalapeno bush. This is crazy. I mean tree. I said bush again, but it's really a tree. Look at this one right here. Look at that jalapeno. It's humongous. It is literally the size of my hand. Wow. So incredible. Absolutely incredible. We've got some wonderful wonderful peppers over here. Look at those. They're doing great. Wow. More beautiful planter baskets. Oh, the marigolds are amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this tomato. That is nice. Okay, and then here basil, but look at this beautiful butternut squash. Awesome. Awesome. And I've got some beets down here. I've got carrots. I've got a whole row of radishes right there. Gorgeous. I've got yellow squash over there. Look at these beautiful babies. Oh my lord. This is what I get to look at every day. Wow. Mulberries are doing great. Avocado doing great. Ginger doing great. The ginger's getting ready to bloom. See it? That's turmeric. Great. I just, well, I just harvested all these potatoes at yesterday. Almost all of them. Not all of them, but almost all of them. And they were so delicious. I chopped up some fresh parsley for my parsley. And it was so good. And then these are sweet potatoes. And there's some thistle right there. That's good bee food. This planter is almost done. And then here is something really cool. So today I noticed on my dill, we have got caterpillars. Look at that. Those are Eastern Swallowtails. Aren't they amazing? Look at that. There is a bunch of them on here. There's one right there too. Look at that. They are so cool. And this dill is so delicious. Oh my goodness. I can't even say how beautiful and tasty and flavorful it is. And then all these habaneros. Oh my gosh, Mark is getting ready to make some amazing habanero sauce. We have got so many of them. Look at how gorgeous they are. Look at that. Unbelievable. Wow. And this basil is doing amazing. All my arugula, the bees have been all over this arugula today because it's gone to seed so they're flowering and they're going to seed really really great uh, more habaneros zucchini not doing as great as i wished it was i uh, bought some um, from Whit whitwhams organics here in tampa um, locally here in florida i bought some mildew resistant zucchini also heat tolerant i'll be using those i'll be growing those next so once this plant is done We'll be using those because we've actually lost a lot of these beautiful zucchinis to, um, it just mildew, uh, I believe. So, anyway, um, it is what it is. It's life. It's how, how things work. And look at this gorgeous fennel. I'll be harvesting these this week. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Excellent for you guys. God, gastro problems. Beautiful. And look at all of these. Look at these beans. They're everywhere. We've harvested about enough for at least two weeks worth of food off of here 
and they're all different. We have all these beautiful, beautiful beans and peas in here. And look at the sunflower faces. This is gorgeous. This was full of bees today. I had a hard time walking by them. Look at that. This is gorgeous. And then beautiful Roma tomatoes. Look at this. This is beautiful radishes. All gone to seed. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at those aromas. Awesome. Pineapple. There's boysenberry, goji berry, katuk, and more uh, sweet potatoes down here. And this is a key lime. There's a mango. That's a baby mango right there. And a pineapple. And of course, we've got elderberry right here. And amazing atomic tomatoes. Look at these suckers. They're just so beautiful. And they're tasty and they're good. They're iridescent. They're gorgeous. And look at this. Look at these aromas. We've had the best tomato crop this year. It's been fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. And we actually have a baby dragon fruit down here. If you can see it. Look at that. That is a dragon fruit bud. How cool is that? Excellent. And then over here. I've got cucumbers growing, so I've got them. I've got them sitting on the fence, and they're going to be wrapping around it. They already have started. Uh, those are going to be great. And then that's our aloe vera plant. It's going to bloom. There's our amazing sage plant. And this here, look at these. Look at all these blackberries. Uh, when they get ripe, they turn black, just like this one right here. Delicious delicious just have so many of them coming and this agostache mint there has been honeybees all over this all day long it's right about dinner time right now so the bees have pretty much all gone home back to their hives but they've been all over it and they've been collecting pollen off of it today so excellent these are also sweet potatoes right here um, okay and then over here we have got eggplants, and this eggplant has taken root. It's in a pot, as you can see, but it took root, and I have got these most gorgeous eggplants here. They are huge. Look at that to my size of my hand. It's amazing. I have got at least eight of them growing. They're budding and growing. Look at the blooms on them. They're just gorgeous. We're gonna have, and I, I actually really love eggplant. It's one of a wonderful, very meaty fruit to eat. If you're not a, if you don't like to eat meat, uh, it's a wonderful fruit to eat. It's just great. And then over here, here's another one. Look at that. Look at that baby. And then over here, here's another one. And then there's one in the back too, and they're all over the place. So it's really wonderful. And then this is our monster pear tomato plant. And as you can see. I got an eggplant back here and I've got a baby eggplant growing back there and all these things my husband and I mark we just we cut this we trimmed up this whole monster tomato plant today it's like six by six by six it's crazy we literally had to stake it because there's so many tomatoes on it look at that wow unbelievable so cool so cool. Um, doing very well, by the way. Look at all these wonderful tomatoes. Excellent, excellent. I should put this up on the fence. It's just beautiful. All right, and here's my potting table. All right, I'm going to take you guys up front and let's see what's going on up there. And okay, here we are up front. These are shrimp plants. And by the way, these are excellent for hummingbirds, butterflies, and bees. Wonderful, wonderful nectar plants. All right, now you got to see what I got growing on up here. I have got red Russian kale. By the way, I use marigolds and everything, as you can tell. They are one, They have been a fantastic lifesaver this year, as far as bugs go, because we haven't had hardly any bugs. Look at that purple lady bok choy. Gorgeous. And then this is a lemon spice jalapeno. It's blooming. And so is this one, and look at that. I have got a baby bud 
lemon spice jalapeno. That'll turn yellow and it'll have a lemony flavor and it'll be hot. So, excellent. And then I have purple, uh, burgundy okra here and more kale, burgundy okra. There's some African irises here. This is tatsoi, wonderful, wonderful food. And I've got lots and lots of marigolds, more tatsoi. I got some more ta um, purple lady bok choy here. And then these blooms, these okra here have been just blooming like crazy and I've got sunflowers coming up in the back. And then I actually have right here, I have got pumpkin spice jalapenos coming up, two of them. Look at that, there's two buds right there. They are gonna be fantastic. They'll be kind of, they'll look like a pumpkin color and they're gonna be jalapenos and they're gonna have a pumpkin-y flavor. So yay, can hardly wait. All right, and then up here, of course, I got all my cabbages and red cabbage, golden cabbage, and collard greens. Look at those collard greens. They're still, they're doing just as great as they were in the last video I did. Amazing. And all my tomatoes are doing great. And I actually have a baby mango growing here. How cool is that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at these tomatoes here. I'm growing these right in my front garden. That is so beautiful. Look at that. And they're everywhere. They're so gorgeous. Our tomato crop has been amazing this year. And then, let's end on this note. That is an amazing passion fruit bloom. And that attracts the passion butterflies. And they're awesome too. So, really happy with our garden this year. So far, so good. Over and out. Have a nice day.